Hello everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another beginner's guide tutorial. This vlog is dedicated to all beginners out there who wish to know anything and everything about computers. So if you have something in mind, please feel free to comment it down below and we are going to create a beginner's guide tutorial for you. We are going to make this tutorial quick and easy to learn. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Okay, this time we are going to have the data validation list and VLOOKUP function in Excel. So I have a sample data here. The sample data is an inventory sheet containing a couple of items. So these are just a sample of items. In real life, there are hundreds and thousands of items for an inventory sheet. So we have the items column, we have the remaining stocks the shelf life and the supplier now since this is some sort of an inventory monitoring if you are going to search for the supplier of muffin it will be a hard time for you it's because you need to align them let's say for donuts you need to align them and look for them now the purpose of this topic right now is to make our searching easier and faster now to do that First, I'm going to create a label here named items lookup. Then next is, let's say if I'm going to search for an items or search for an item and look for its supplier. So maybe I'm just going to type supplier. There you go. Now in this area, I'm just going to provide some sort of uh, change in color maybe. So that it would be easier to see. That will do. Same thing with this. Oh, maybe for this one. I don't know if lighter is good or darker. Um, not sure with the colors. So I think this will do. Which one? There. Oh, that's the original one. Oh, I'm confused. Or this one will do. Okay same thing with the other one yeah so we are going to look for an item over here so to do that uh, resize it that's it I'm going to use this feature right here the data validation list okay be sure that you have selected this area click on data click this icon right here the check and the cancel so whatever version you're going to use be sure that you see or you find this icon right here data validation icon click on that one I'm going to go to settings I'm going to change the validation criteria from any value to list there I will be asked for the source so I'm just going to click this icon right here and I'm going to select the list of items as my source once I have selected all of them, I'm going to press enter. That's it. Then click OK. So I will be seeing some sort of an arrow right here. So as you can see, the list of items are already here. So it's easier to look for. Now what's going to happen is, it should supposed to be like this. If ever I'm going to select onion rings, it will display its supplier. So instead of looking for that one in here, all I can do is just to click on noodle then supplier will be displayed here so it would be faster so to do that I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function on this area press equals type VLOOKUP okay open parentheses now we have four process in here so we are going to start with the bolded one lookup value so the lookup value will be this area right here just click on that one since that is what we are looking for comma then after you have pressed comma another process will do or will be seen in here table array now the table array will be from baguette going down to k and k trading which is the whole data on our table so once we're done selecting them, just type 
comma then the next process is column index number all we need to do right now is to look for which column number is our supplier since we are looking for the supplier so we are going to count one two three four so the supplier is in the fourth column of our table okay so that's first column second third and fourth since we are looking for the column index number so just type four comma so we will be asked if you are going to look for the approximate match or exact match for this one we are going to use false which is the exact match close parenthesis enter that's it now if ever i'm going to search for an item here let's say rice automatically the supplier will be shown sunday there now another trick here is you can just directly type it here let's say chicken and there there you go so that is how you are going to create an items lookup using vlookup function in microsoft excel Thank you.